Thank him for his love. Thank him for his message. Thank him for his grace. Thank him. Thank him. Jesus. Wow. You may be seated. God bless you. Okay. I want to take my reading from Jeremiah chapter 1. I'll start my reading from verse 17. Jeremiah. Jeremiah is in the Old Testament. Jeremiah 1, verse 17. Say, Thou therefore, give up thy lions. And arise and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces. Don't be afraid of their faces. Lest I confound thee before them. Verse 18. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city, an iron pillar, a brazen walls. Against the old land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. The next verse, verse 19. They shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am, why? For I am with you, said the Lord to deliver thee. He said they shall fight against you, but they shall not prevail. They shall fight against you. They shall not prevail. Why will they fight? I want to turn your Bibles to the book of Joshua 1, verse 5. Joshua is in the Old Testament after Deuteronomy. You get to Joshua. Joshua, Joshua 1, 5. <laughs> let me start my reading because time from verse 6. Okay, let me just take the verse 5. It said, 
There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee. God is talking to Joshua. I will not fail thee, nor abandon you. Verse 6. Be strong. Can we read it? One, two, go. Can I add the best verse seven again? Verse seven. Can we read together? I want to go. Just hold on. This is the second time. God is talking to a man. You know, Moses could not take the children of Israel to the promised land. Not that he could not. But he had a problem of anger. So God was angry with him and God said, come. You cannot take my children anymore. He has a problem of anger. So when we talk about anger, anger is a sin. Moses could not get to the promised land because he lacked self-control. Once he's angry, he can say anything, he can do anything. He can do any stupid thing. So, God could not take Moses to the promised land. Now, Moses fell on the way. His servant, you know, Joshua was not Moses' friend. Joshua was Moses' servant. They were not friends. Joshua was the servant of Moses. Aaron was a a friend, a brother to Moses. But Joshua was his servant. Meanwhile, Aaron was alive, but God did not choose him. Moses had children, Matthew. He had sons. Aaron had sons. God did not choose from any one of them. God chose to choose a servant of Moses called what? Joshua. So Moses was expecting his eldest son to take over or his brother Aaron to take over. But God gave it to to who? Joshua, his servant, as boy, at his best. Can they work on the microphones, please? We cannot have two people preaching. All the microphones, turn them off. And Joshua is a man of war. And God told him the battle you are going to fight is not a spiritual battle. It's a physical war. In this verse 7, God has asked him to be strong and courageous two two times. Can we go to verse 9? Verse 9. Okay. Have Not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good for the third times. Why is God working on him to be strong? Because there are challenges. And these challenges might discourage him. And when he is discouraged, he will miss it. So God had to work on him to be strong. Be courageous. One, God, it was not in the dream, physical, God appeared to him. Be strong. Be of good courage. He repeated it again after a while. Another day came again. He said, you must be strong and of good courage. Don't be afraid because Joshua is going to battle and it's not one battle. So many battles and you know, people talk and talk. When they see reality, some will run. Even soldiers with gone, 
in the battlefield, they threw away their rifle and run. Soldiers that are trained to combat, when they are in the battlefield, some will throw away their gun and run away. They don't even come back home. They will just run lost because of fear. This will bring me to my message titled, Be Strong. Put a column, right? Put a column, be strong. Then drop a column there. Be strong. Be very strong. This year is a year of for the bold people. It's a year for the diehard people. People that don't give up. God has spoken to Joshua. Don't be afraid. I'm with you. Be strong. Go. So Joshua took the word of God and went to battle. Let me tell you what happened to Joshua after these three times. Joshua now go to a city. A very fortified city. The city is with high fence. And now... Joshua could not do anything in the city. He was there for like a year or two. He could not do anything to overcome that city. And I remembered God. He went to the prophet. What do I do? The prophet said, God said, you are not going to fight. A city he could not defeat for two years. God said, you will not fight in this one. It's the priest that will fight. How will the priest fight? The priest, they took their trumpets their chamberlain, their instrument, and they started dancing around the city the first day. A city with fence. They danced around it the second day. They danced around it the third day. They danced around it the fourth day. On the seventh day after they have danced around, the priest said, Rejoice! And they said, Woo! And the city, the war everywhere broke down. That was how they defeated that city. How did they call that city? Jericho. You know, book. Clap for yourself. You see? So they didn't fight all the battles. God fought most of the battles for them because God is with them. This year, God is with you. He's full of battles, but you'll be amazed that you will not fight most of them. You are not going to fight battles because God is with you. They only dance around. You know, despite that, Joshua also fed somewhere. If you read that book of Joshua, down, down, down. At a point, Joshua forgot God for 40 years. Joshua got to a city. He could not penetrate the city because the people were giants. The impossible. And you know then, there were no other weapon than cutlass, sword. So the people were giant, very tall. Some are like electric pole. Huge. So Joshua had to send somebody down as spy. When the person came back, the spy came back, the spy said, we got to the city, but we were as grasshoppers before the people, the people of Enoch. We were as grasshoppers, grasshoppers before them. We cannot fight these people. Joshua was not thinking. He forgot God. He has forgotten Jericho. He was not thinking. Huh? So the people are giants. That is where Goliath came from. They were all giants. Do you know that Joshua fed for 40 years? He ran away. He wasted 40 years. Now Joshua is 80 years old. One day he now remembered God. He now called the children of Israel together. He said, I'm 80 years old now, but I'm still very strong. Let's go and fight these people of Enoch. We are going to chase them away. 40 years, what were he doing? Fear took him away. This year, you must overcome fear. You must. It's a must. Overcome fear. This is not a year you will take rubbish from people. Somebody here come 
Eli, 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 the Lord is speaking through me. The Lord is speaking through me. I see that you will die January, January 29th. You will die. Just walk away. Don't even answer the person. It's not a year you listen to any hard prophecies. It's not a year somebody call your father's name, your mother's name, tell you the amount in your bank account and tell you you will die so, so day. It's not a year you fall for such people. It's a year you avoid fear. Avoid it. You know the best way to avoid fear? Do you know it? Who can tell me how to avoid fear? How to overcome fear? The best way to overcome fear is to be ready to die. It's hard, right? But it's the truth. Jesus said it in the New Testament all over. He said, if you are trying to protect your life, you will do what? But if you are ready to lose your life, you will do what? Sometimes, be ready to die. You'll be amazed you will not die. Somebody has died for you. When I say the year is a dangerous year, people are going to die. It is they that will die. It's not you. You will see that. On Sunday, Aaron and F was coming to trailer, crashed him at the express, EJ or something. Nothing touched him. Two trailers. Go in between two trailers, me, you know what the trailer they do, people. Nothing touched him. You must overcome fear this year. It's a must. Don't take it lightly at all. It's not a year you sit down and you start thinking, January is going now. Hey. I have not seen any money. Oh. Where will I see money now? No man is even toasting me. Oh. Where will I marry now? I'm not getting pregnant. No, 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 no. Put the devil behind you. Always put the devil behind you. As you sit down in your house, you are looking. You say, this house is getting small now. I will soon move from this house. Start creating your tomorrow now. Start creating it. When you get to the compound and the compound is big, see where you will pack your Venza or Lesos. This is where I will pack my Venza. You create it. This is my car park. It's my car park. You might not have a car. Maybe you are washing your father's car or your elder brother's car or your boss's car. You are, as you are washing it with love, you know that your own, you will soon wash your own very soon. If care is not taken, you will buy him drink. We love. You create it. This is a very creative ministry. Start creating your future. You might not be married now. Create it. See your children. See your husband. You see it. It's what you see you get. There is nothing God has not done in this church. In this church, a lady with two grown-up girls, grown-up girls, got married. Was it the year before last or last year? Last year. In this church, she got married. She had grown-up girls. In short, the day I called for marriage people, the way I did on Sunday, if you want to marry, come out. She came out. I believe her two daughters came out first before her. And they find pastor, top pastor, and they set. But she married before them. In this church, two fine, fine young girls, very fine, matured, grown-up. She had two children. She came with the children. Everybody, they pray on. First to marry. She first then marry. What about you? How many children you don't born? Your own daughter reach her own. Imagine if the man can go for look on her tree. Who oh, I'll come marry now. Eh? And it's a young man that married her. Young man, not be papa. You know, there are some of you, because you are not yet married, you feel, any man when he come, I go marry you. Even if he gets seven children, I go marry him. You know, my grandfather is safe. I go manage him too. So far, I marry. This is no marriage. I won't stop her. I go marry anybody. I don't care. Even if my one leg, I'll marry him. That is not faith. That is failure. That is not. When you don't have a choice in your heart, you have already failed yourself. That is self defeat. You have a choice. You create your life, you create your future. As we are here in this church, there are people in this church that are looking for wife to marry. They are in the church. Some are seated now. Men, not one, not two, not three, not four. And some of them, devils cover their face. They don't see. Not only old, old women, when they resist it, they see. 
devils cover their face. Right? It's the truth. It's a spiritual church. Okay, some, their eyes are open, but you, you are covered. They don't see you. They will pass you, they will not see you. They will pass again, they will, they will pass you, they will not see you. They don't see you. This year, overcome fear. Be strong. You can never be defeated. You will see it. Because God has said it. Be strong. Be very, very strong. I did a program for conception this year and I dropped the broom here. And I said, you know, at times, people discourage us. And it's you people most times. And it's not your fault. It's the devil. And I said, if you want to conceive now, pull your shoe, come and use this broom to do your foot mat. We have clean, your, clean your leg. The sister came with her husband and she cleaned her leg. Twelve years, barren, no shy. You know what it's like to be married for two years, no shy? Even one year, one year. Your husband, people, they go, they come, they come, they say, ah, what did it happen now? Nah? We we'll never see Peking no. As if now you they manufacture the picking. It's not that to ask their son, are you the good ask? Ah, my wife, what did they happen? If you get problem, tell us. You can't rest. So does your call. You never see get belle. As if now you they manufacture the belle. They not even ask their son to put him. <laughs> it's the truth. You will not know what people are going through. Okay, for 12 years. No shy. She did the prayers. She got pregnant immediately the, the, that very month. She did the time testimony here now. You saw it. And the grace to make wet, right? She put to bed yesterday, baby girl. Jesus <laughs> of <laughs>
This one at all. Why you not do? What? The thing I like about this church, we are genuine people. We don't do like this. We don't deceive. People talk anyhow. We don't deceive. We don't deceive people. We don't fabricate testimonies. If God won't do me, do. If you don't want to, I know. We will do our part, do our best to make him to do. That pray, that prayer, I fasted seven days dry for it. It's good, you know. Dry seven days for that prayer, for that broom. I then brought it. Okay, now your faith matters a lot. The woman said before she came, she and her husband prayed at home. Even faster that this program prophet said that we do on Sunday, we must partake. They even took a seed and they came. When they came, we lost one of our mom to a cardiac accident. One of her sister Sarah's mom. So I was heartbroken. I then canceled the prayer. I said, No, we will not do the prayer again. Why would this uh, mom just fall from Okada and die? No. But somehow the Holy Spirit said, son, do the prayer now. Do it. And I said, oh, sorry, we'll do the prayer. In the same service. And I brought out the broom. She was not the first person that climbed that broom. But she had so much faith. And that after that prayer, she conceived. It didn't waste time. It didn't waste time. Twelve years. Yesterday, she was telling us that she, the husband told a lot of people, so they were calling her Mama Baby, Mama Bon Boy, Mama. B-. He said she started crying. Oh, so now make the call, they call Mama Baby. Oh, me. Me, where did they laugh? Oh, me. Me. You know, there's one bad thing about it, this Ugeli. Ugeli people, they're not be like worry people. Ugeli people are very different. They are not like worry, they are not like sapler people. They are not even like old lay people. Ugele people are very different. I'm tell- I was born in this town. I grew up in this town. I went to Ugele Primary School. I went to Government College. But I also live outside. Especially in Wari. All my life. Ugele people are different. Let me explain. One, in this Ugele, if you get moto, you can't drive. If your friends see you, Papa, how you doing? Hey, Those your same friend, if they see you, say you did trek for Market Road, they not greet you. They just drive past. They will not greet you. The next day they'll pick phone. I see Jackson in the trek now. Be like, say things not the robber mo. I not greet him If I greet him, I go beg me money on so I pass. True or false? Even I worry, boy. As they pass, it go stop. It's oh boy, I found out where you they go. Quiet time motor, where you they go? Sir, how they go your side? No worry, man, I go drop you. You can see this love. In worry, there is a love. That love is not in Ugeli here. Yeah. It's the truth. 
If you have traveled and you've lived in Saple, you've lived in Wari before, you've lived in Benin before, even in Ole or Zoro, you will know that Ugele is different. Ugele, if you buy a new shoe, they know. So I wear a new shoe. We are for the work, self. We are for the work. I say buy a new shoe. You don't just say that they do yahoo yahoo. What it concern you? What it concern you? Go do your own. Leave me alone. These buses we bought, if I tell you what it is that they talk about me, you go run. Even me at times, I would say, shoot, not me, they could talk about me. You know what, what closed their mouth? As they saw the land, we put our signboard, they shut up. All of them. They shut up. See, God will give you overdose testimony. Your testimony will silence all your enemies. In the name of Jesus, your breakthrough will silence all your enemies. In the name of Jesus, say the name of Jesus, the word of God for me, 2022, must come to pass in my life. Say the word of God.